Today I'm going through all the portable game systems that I own, and I'm telling you guys which one you should pick up, because, spoiler alert, it's not this one. So basically, um, oh god, this is my, this is the first, like, actual good video I'm doing with this camera, so bear with me. It has a pause button, so I can be like, whoa, my hand's there, and now it's not. So I can do stuff like that, as well as I could have done, like, a thing where it's like, whoa, PSP. Next up, Vita. So I can do stuff like that. So yeah, um, we're gonna start with the uh, oldest handheld game system I own, uh, the GBC. Uh, so I'm showing off one of the funnest game and then one like really tech demo e game thing, except not in that order and not for all of them. So let's take here. Let's get one of my favorite games for Game Boy Color. I'm doing also regular Game Boy. So we're gonna do F1 Race and then Perfect Dark and then, and then a quick demo of the Game Boy Camera. So as we fire up the Game Boy Color into F1 Race, we can see I'm just gonna Grand Prix. Start. 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 Uh, this is like a really good Mode 7 game. Uh, you're in F1 and you're racing all around. There is actually link cable compatibility with this game as well. Uh, you're this F1. You're racing against the other dudes. You can boost. You can you can crash as well. You can also drift and stuff. So yeah, that's F1 Race. Um, it's it's a fun game. This is for the list for the fun game. It's not my favorite game, but it's a fun game. So then we're gonna do the Game Boy Camera, and you guys are gonna see my hideous face. So, <laughs> uh, fun fact: this puts some other systems to shame. Specifically, I'm sorry about this horrible angle, by the way. Specifically, the PSP. It, it's kind of funny. The PSP and Nintendo Switch don't have cameras. I'm just gonna view some of my other images. Just because I don't have to take one. This is my first image on this. It's me. It might not be good, but it's better than the images a Switch can take. Oh, got him. Oh, uh, this is my old cat. Um... Then, this is who I'm joined by today. Hello. Yeah, he's been kind of quiet this whole time, and I don't know yeah. why, because he's going to be doing some of this. So Yeah, that's actually a fact. So yeah, you can take images. You can also yeah. print them off with a freaking printer. You can print things with a Game Boy, so that's, that's cool. You need a link cable, which I have, so yeah. And it uses thermal paper. Yeah, which is cool. So next up, hopping into uh, Perfect Dark... This is a sweet, you can't really see it too well, but this is a, a third-person shooter game. And you're out of ammo. Do you have the other gun? Yeah, yeah, you do. You're also out of ammo. Okay, well, basically, it's a sweet third-person shooter game. So many extras and bonuses in there. Um, all types of stuff. There's, like, oh, there's multiplayer, which is super fun. I have a video on that. We go through all the different modes of multiplayer. Same dude. Yeah, I guess. and um, there's tons of other bonuses and stuff. So then, second oldest game system on the list, the GBA, Game Boy Advance. Wow, this is my setup. Hi, everyone. You can see my eye. So um, the Game Boy Advance is exactly what it sounds like. It's a Game Boy, but Advance. Uh, the games we're doing for this is Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4, cartridge in really bad condition, and Doom. Yep. Doom. So, we're starting off with Doom. Uh, I mean, it's Doom. If you guys know what Doom is, then you know what Doom is. Um, it's, uh, just so you guys know, um, so, so far... Oh my god, if it wants to focus. The screen is incredibly dark on Game Boy Advance. I mean, like, incredibly so. Like, it is dark. So... Let's just load from my slot. Especially when you're in a darker level like where I am right now. You can't really even see anything. I'm actually going to choose a different level because you can't see crap. Wow. Wow. Let's just spam the A button. So here we are um, in Doom. 
playing some Doom. That's a pillar that I just walked into. Oh, we're over here. There's a dude over here that we can shoot. Yeah, I picked up a clip. It's Doom. So yeah, that's Doom. Basically, um, it's Doom. Then next we have Pro Skater of the Tony Hawk Variety 4. Epic. I don't have one through three, only four, because it's the best. From what I've heard online. You can also get, because you can get Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 to 3 on this. 1 to 4. And then, um, you can also get Underground 1 and 2. Yeah. So, I'm just gonna kind of just, just be a skater over here. The controls are pretty good. They're not that hard to learn, but they're not easy to learn at the same time. Uh, this is a really fun game. Like, if you guys see it, yeah, it's worth your time. So yeah, you can do like crap and tricks. It's not that easy to pick up and play. Like you definitely have to learn controls. But like it's I mean I'm also playing it through the lens of like my camera. Not the lens, the screen. The screen. That would be very difficult. So yeah, basically you're Tony Hawk and you're a skater. Next up is the PSP. Sony Entertainment Computer Entertainment. I'm, cause I'm, uh, for DS, I'm throwing that into, um, 3DS, cause I don't have a DS, but I have a ton of DS games. So, for the game we're playing this is Rainbow Six Vegas. I have it downloaded. Cause, I have my PS Vita first, and then I wanted the PSP. And so, it uses the same type of store. It looks really bad on camera, the screen, but, like, in person. It looks really good from, like, a distance, especially, like, in person. It's just kind of a low-res screen. But it, it just, it looks way worse in, on, in through a camera lens. So, but basically, um, the store's the same as on the Vita. So any PSP slash PS1 games I had downloaded on my Vita, I could re-download on my PSP. Which makes them a lot easier to play. If it wants to let me actually start the game here. You can also um, watch movies and whatnot on the PSP as well as there's like Skype, all that stuff. So, my single player mode is actually kind of good. It's very, very fun. Uh, I got this on the store for, I think, like 20 bucks or something. I have no clue how much it was, but yeah. Um, basically, right now I'm playing as Sean. Uh, oh, it's a game I played on it. Yeah. You can it's shoot these guys. Well, the entire system has to be controls for Yeah, because there's no second analog stick, but I mean, neither does the DS also at the same time. You have a, you don't, like... So yeah, how this works is this is to move and then the buttons are actually to look around, which it seems at first like it's really complicated, but once you get in the hang of it, it's quite easy. So that's, um, that's PSP. So yeah. So for this one, I am playing Hot Wheels Track Attack and Lego Marvel Super Heroes Universe in Peril. This is a DS XL, and if I didn't say that. 3DS XL, and if I didn't say that, Andrew would beat me. With a stick. Here, so go on, just go under on career, or don't. Track, <laughs> I can go back. Yeah, go back. <laughs> okay. Uh, car, car reaver. Yeah, just keep hitting A until you get into a game. Okay. A, 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 make sure you get the bottom screen in there. It's hard to get a DS... Yeah, here. both screens. I've actually never played this before, so I'm okay. probably going to suck. Yeah. I'm just going to pretend it's Mario Kart and be perfectly fine. You probably will suck. <laughs> bang, bang. This is a lot faster than Mario Kart. I'm going this way then. No. So this is Marvel Lego Super Heroes Universe in Peril. That is a mouthful. Marvel and Lego it's Luper. loading, which it actually takes a while to load. Um, this yeah. one has a lot of load. Load, yeah. It's a huge load. Yeah. Epic win. Yeah. I actually also own this. This isn't my copy. Oh, I'm on that level. 
You're better Elden. than me. Elden! You're better than me at this game. Yeah, I'm playing as Wolverine at the moment. I'm surprised you aren't playing as Spider-Man. I don't I'm not on a level where I can use him yet. Oh. And I'm not the expert at this game, but I'm 99% sure there's an open world when you beat it. Oh, I hope so, because... Because I know that in almost every other LEGO Marvel game, once you beat it, there's an open world. Uh, if any of you guys, like, have this game, or just, like, know stuff about games, please let it in the comment section below. Yeah, that down was... Down below there. That was, like, my only problem, is that there wasn't, like, a free world yeah, that you that was can... one of the best parts of, like, um, it on, like, PS4 or Xbox or something. Yeah, and uh, not, like, even just, like, um, not... It's not a LEGO game, but, uh, the, inf like... Infinity series, I th I forget the name of Disney it. Disney Infinity. Disney Infinity, yeah, because it's just like yeah, and you could play as Marvel characters. Yeah, that's honestly one of my favorite parts was um, before I got the Spider-Man PS4 game, was I would just play like Lego Marvel superheroes and just like swing around as Spider-Man. I would honestly do that when I was waiting for the Spider-Man PS4 game to come out. And it's like a lot, like fun. It's it's a DS game. That's it's yeah cool. yeah. Alright, so next up we're doing the Vita. My case wants to open. I have a couple issues with this, cause just because this was how I gamed for like three years of my life. So, um, my left analog stick has started drifting. It's not too bad, but it does definitely make some games like completely unplayable. Hi. And so, it is kind of an issue. Let's see if I got enough of a charge on it. Definitely not enough, but I can get up and run it. So yeah. Um, unlike the DS, this has two analog sticks. Also unlike the PSP. Wow, it's actually dead. That's okay. Um, I have a whole video on my Vita. So yeah. Um, basically it plays Minecraft. I have Minecraft on it. Uh, you can play a ton of PS1 and PSP games. Uh, PS1 games are super duper fun on this. Especially ones that support analog, because then you can't play them with analog. So it's, uh, it's pretty cool. Um, that's the Vita. Like I said, this is, like, how I gamed for a long time. It's very nostalgic, even though I still play on it a lot. Uh, fun fact is actually my favorite version of Minecraft is Minecraft PS Vita Edition. So, oh, yeah. It's so broken. <laughs> yeah. So, the case I have, um, it's a branded Vita case. I think it's, like, by Sony. I don't know. My dad got it for me. Um, I have... In here, I got a 32 gig memory card that's literally almost full, and it has built-in memory, too. So, yeah, I have a 32 gig memory card. That's actually, like... Very small. Yeah. Yeah, I have a 32 gig card that's, like, literally almost full. I actually might be full at the time of saying this, but, like, because I went all digital for this, compared to, like, on my PSP or something. Uh, the, it takes some um, game cards very similar to the Nintendo Switch. It loads them in the top. Um, the big thing with all of these systems is only one of them is still being actively supported. Because we're not doing a new 3DS because neither of us have that. Because um, the Switch is the only one that's still being supported. Because this was cancelled either this year or last year, I can't remember. But my theory theory on why that is... Is because if you look, since the PS3, every PlayStation release has come with its own portable. Because PS3 had its PSP, and then 4 had the Vita. And of course, with the PS5 being announced for holiday 2020, I don't think it's too far-fetched to think that they cancelled like first-party support on this to work on making the next handheld. So, next, and definitely not least, the one that's still being supported first-partily, Lee... Uh, the Nintendo Switch. Um, we're using a Switch Lite, and it, for, like, because everything else is only portable, except for PSP, you can actually output to a TV, but still, the controllers don't come off. And I mean, like, it, that has absolutely nothing to do with the fact that I don't actually have a Switch. If I had a Switch, I'd still only use it in handheld mode for this comparison. Comparison. Just, yeah. So, I got this really cool case. It's an Insignia Go case. Um, I really like this. It's an Insignia Switch Lite case. I actually have the box. So yeah, this is what it looks like. If you guys are interested, I got this for like 19 bucks at Best Buy. Not the Switch, but the case. Um, it's really, really... Okay. It's actually a really good case. It's made of this hard material. To the point where like I, I've like taken this with me. I've thrown it in my backpack. And I'm not afraid that it's going to get wrecked or anything. 
Uh, inside it has this little compartment here, which I usually will carry headphones in and stuff when I, like, take this on, like, a car or to school or whatever. Usually I'll throw some headphones in there. It's not big enough to hold the Nintendo Switch charger, just because that has that really fat power adapter, but it can just hold a USB charger. Uh, it has eight slots for games at the top, four on top, four on bottom. I only have two games at the moment, and one should be in the mail tomorrow. Uh, the games I have is, um, I have Zelda Link's Awakening. It's the... Brand new remaster, the third re-release of this game. So then, lots of great games. So. Yeah, and so then in my Switch I have um Splatoon 2, which is the game we're doing. Um, this is the best because unlike the PS Vita, I forgot to show you, you can't click in the thumbsticks, like you can't here, and that doesn't have um L2 R2 because it has a back touch screen. So though it doesn't have all the same buttons as a Vita, it evens out, equals out. So yeah. And also. Uh, let's L2 and R2 are so comfortable. Yeah, they're, like, it's really comfortable to hold because, like, the whole shape is very, like, ergonomic. Not er, It's actually the opposite of ergonomic, which is why you want your fingers to be up here. Unlike on the Vita or something where you grip it kind of like in a claw grip. Because this, you want to kind of flatten it all out because it's so thin. And it's, like, a lot similar to a phone. Yeah, which the screen hold. size is about the same size as, like, a phone, tablet, maybe, kind of, yeah. like. and, like... One of the reasons why it's so comfortable is because you pretty much hold a phone all day, every day. Yeah. That, like... Sorry that the colors look kind of so bad on this, used. but yeah. Once again, just setting a camera in front of a screen does not look that good, but I don't really care. Yeah. So, so Splatoon 2 has some intense loading times. Super duper... Super quickly. Very. It's so quick. I really suck at Splatoon 2. So, yeah. <laughs> but if you guys want, like, an actual gameplay video, I mean... Mm, mm -hmm. it'll, it'll be like this, because I can't dock or anything. That's what I hate about this. Every time you go, you have to sit through this. Every, like, two hours, I think it is. To see the new stages, which I honestly don't care about. You should be able to speed it up, like, when they're talking in shops. Oh, the graphics on this are by far the best. Oh, and I mean, um, I, I was gonna point out, um, PS Vita Remote Play. I wanna do a whole nother video just switch to Vita. Because I think they're so similar. Because, of course, the, the, um, they can both play, like, home console games. Of course, the Vita, you need a PS4 for that, whereas the Switch just is a home console. But yeah. Oh my god, let me play the game. Don't get cut, damn it. Yeah, okay, so let me play the game. So that's the bane of my existence. Um, Basically, you're a kid and you're also a squid. Cool, update. Wow, I love this. Oh my god, incredible. I got on at the perfect time. So, you're a squid, and at the same time, you're also a kid. Um, basically, I'm not gonna get into, like, a match or anything to show you, but I'm gonna just go into here to show you guys. Uh, there's a not that good campaign, but I mean, it's a campaign it, still. Yeah. Campaign. And so then, uh, there are multiplayer's where it's at. So you can, like, swim in your own ink and stuff, that's also how you regain your ink. Uh, I mainly play Turf Wars, and I'm not that bad, and at the same time, I'm not that good. Let's get those birds. So yeah, um, basically Splatoon 2. It's cool. So yeah, basically, um, those are portable systems. And so, out of all of these portable systems, what would I recommend to you to get? Probably a new 3DS. <laughs> new 3DS, new 2DS. Just, I have so many memories of my... 3DS, and it's still one of my favorite game systems to come back to, just because the games are so good. Uh, so yeah, um, buy a 3DS. Yeah. Um, or a Switch. And these are also cool. And if you want or or also maybe a Game Boy Color. Those are pretty cool, also. Yeah, and so I mean, so are, so are Game Boy Advances. Also with the PS Vita and uh, the PSP. Yeah, those are all really good. Yeah.